Hi, I'm Dr. Pradeep Gadge. I'm director of Dr. Gadge's Diabetes Care and Research Center, Mumbai. Now, what is the association between muscle loss or muscle gain, say, and with diabetes? Now, when you see a metabolic disorder like diabetes, it is a disorder which actually creates a catabolic phase, especially when it is uncontrolled. So, you will start losing muscles. and otherwise also it is estimated that in a diabetic patient you lose somewhere around 1 to 1.5 kg muscle per year so roughly in over a period of a decade you would have lost somewhere around 10 kg of muscle that is the devastating effect which diabetes can create so it's very important to see to it that the intake of protein in these patients is good the exercise strength training exercise would be advisable depending on the cardiac and the other conditions of the patients in consultation with your doctor so these things are very important there are two consumers of glucose in our body one is muscle and the other is fat now in males as you age you tend to put on the abdominal fat in females you tend to put on the fat around hips so these are the two organs i should say which will pull glucose towards themselves so they are consumers Now, exactly what happens when you have excess glucose in the body? The fat will try to store it, and you will go on becoming more and more obese. And that is why you see usually diabetic patients go on becoming more and more obese in the central part, central obesity. The other thing is if your muscles are stronger, if you are exercising, gymming properly, if you are taking good amount of proteins, and if you are healthy and at diabetic. what exactly would happen is your muscles would be stronger they would be taking up the glucose and they'll be utilizing it to further grow to further function so automatically the sugar levels in your blood comes down so it is always better that the muscles take up this glucose now try to understand a person who is having good muscle mass even at rest his basal metabolic rate would be high so that also would lead to calorie consumption so the chances of these patients becoming obese gets reduced the other advantage is exercise not only helps to build up muscles when you are actually exercising this is a classical example of how exercise helps later as well because once you have built up those muscles even at rest those muscles keep on consuming glu- extra glucose consuming extra energy thereby reducing your chance having metabolic problems and increasing your chances of having that lean mass which actually would help you thank you